Okay, so here we are with the layout, and we've built the house, and I don't think we've put, yeah, I haven't put the roof, I'm not going to put the roof on yet, but we are here with the layout. It's going to be one bedroom, one bath, and it is a tiny home. Uh, 98 tiles instead of 100. We could do 100 tiles, obviously, but I just didn't need the other two tiles, so it's 98. We're using island living doors and a base game archway on the inside. And it's base game doors for the bedroom and the bathroom as well. And then we're going to go ahead and put down island living floors. This lava one in like the foyer and uh, the kitchen. And I don't think, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and change the kitchen and the living room and swap them around basically so there we go we're gonna go ahead and put the island living floors in the foyer and in the kitchen and then in the bathroom we just go we went ahead and put a base game tile like yeah a tile with these, the little one that looks like it has little diamonds in it and in my game right now it's actually like winter so it's not displaying the best ever for island living in a mermaid but you can when you download this lot which is currently on the gallery you can go ahead and put it in whatever world you want this is the 30 by 30 lot in new crest and then right outside you can see my sim standing around and she is my mermaid and she's also on the gallery so you can find her and this house under Trivingo Tales. So I'm using Island Living windows in the kitchen, at least for now. And then I'm like, nope, that doesn't look right. So I go ahead and use base game windows. And I use the Island Living windows in the bathroom, which I think actually looks better, or at least is a little bit more private or something like that. And then, so... I'm going and putting these windows here, and in case you're wondering why I'm doing like a voiceover for this build instead of just talking through the build, which is what I originally intended, again, my mic failed to record while I was building. Like, I was building and talking, and my mic was on, but it wasn't doing any recording through my computer for some reason. I have no idea why it's not recording my audio. I've been trying to figure it out. I spent 45 minutes figuring it out before I recorded and I recorded a bunch of like little test tracks and it was doing fine and then when I was actually in the game and playing it was like nope sorry not gonna work and I was like okay great that's wonderful so it didn't record again so now I'm having to like talk through this build with you guys while I'm not building it which is not ideal I will get it worked out I promise um, I also have a new mic I got a new mic for my birthday and this one should have a lot clearer sound. It has a lot more features and a lot of stuff to help it filter out the noise from my computer, which is great. So anyway, back to the build. Here am I just looking for fencing. Uh, just for the back porch. I don't want it to look base gamey. I want it to look island living, island living e. And then um, while we're doing this, going through the build, I just wanted to say that we will be speed building through the landscaping with this one. And like I said, we speed build, we speed built through the actual like building of this little house, the structure of it and the layout too. But for the most part, that's pretty much it on that, the speed build part. And when we speed build, we will go ahead, I'll have some music playing royalty free music playing for you guys so it's not totally boring so we're doing island living flooring on the deck and then i'm putting the weird like lava flooring to the pond but i decide not to go all the way to it just so that there's a pathway there i don't i don't know like you'd lay stone or a pathway or something if you wanted to and i I do some landscaping, but for some reason while I was doing this build, I completely forgot about terrain paints. Like, I completely forgot about terrain paints, and I totally forgot to turn on BB dot show hidden objects or live edit objects. I just totally spaced it. I don't know why. So now I'm going through the Island Living wallpapers, and to be perfectly honest, they aren't awesome. So I'm like, well, I'll do this one, and then I'm like, nope, because it looks horrible on all those walls. But then this one looks okay. This is the gray, like, wood paneling, kind of. 
And then the kitchen looks fine as this, like, stone from Island Living. And so that's what I decided to do with that one. And then uh, on the outside of the house, I go ahead and use the Island Living wallpaper. So now I'm just putting in a wall so that I can put in two Island Living columns and then an Island Living spandrel, which is important to me because I kind of really liked the way it looked it. You know, the kitchen's open, and, but it's separated. Now, oh, the one thing I forgot to mention is that even though I created a sim for this house, I completely forgot to test play this. Uh, this has not been tested at all. I hope you, I'm sorry if you heard that little computer sound. Anyway, this build has not been test played. It has not been tested at all. I have no idea if my sim can get to all these spots or all these places. And so, if you encounter some issues with this build at all, I really hope you go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know, and I'll come back in and fix it and then re-upload, okay? I don't actually want you guys to have issues playing my builds if you download and build them. So, do let me know if there's anything hinky about the this build. There shouldn't be in like the bedroom or the bathroom or the living area, but the kitchen's really small. And again, I use that column spandrel thing. So I'm not convinced that my sim can actually use the kitchen. So if you download the build and have problems, please let me know so that I can go in and fix it because I will do that. And for all my builds, if you have issues, I'll fix it. So then I decided it needs a back door and I'd like this island living one for the back door. It takes up less space, but it also kind of looks like a back door to me. Like it looks sort of like a screen door. And then here I am doing the outside of the house in this brown, which isn't the prettiest outside of a house you could possibly have, but I kind of like it. And then I do some different colored lava stone on this little front bump out, which I also like. And then I think after this part, I go and figure out the roofing. Yeah, here we go. Figuring out the roofing now. I played around with this roof for a little while and I didn't really find anything that I truly loved about it so it's just a basic roof and then I do go ahead and put the thatch on. I think it might look better if I'd left the eaves of the roof on like the side bits that you can pull in. I think it would look a lot better if I'd left those out instead of in and I also think it would look better if I just used the hipped roof uh, through both parts of it instead of using the other one which name I can't remember the one that doesn't have the little bit in the front to color where you can put wallpaper on it that one if I'd use the f the first roof I roofing piece I'd used instead of that piece and then the solid one I'm sorry I knew what they were called and I explained what they were called and told you which pieces I was selecting and which wallpapers and what pack and all of that while I was building but again the audio didn't record. But anyway, I think the roof would look better if I hadn't made the eaves go away, the eaves of it. But I did, so that's what we're stuck with now. Um, and so then the outside of this house is done except for landscaping and we're going to jump into the landscaping right now. Okay guys, that's the landscaping. I make a couple of adjustments here and there when I realize that the hedges are clipping through the windows in the bedroom, but that's the landscaping. And I really like it. I mean, I would like it better if the pond wasn't frozen over in this clip, but again, uh, it was winter in my game because I use one particular save file when I'm building new homes, at least for right now, until I've built 
basically until I've built different homes and different styles of buildings and things like that throughout the world. I'm like remove all the families and all the Maxis houses basically and use all the lots and in the world's kind of empty. So here we're um like I said, a new crust on the 30 by 30 lot. Now we're doing the kitchen, and these are both base game, the fridge and the stove. And I chose the brown swatch of this old-looking refrigerator. I just kind of liked it better in, the, in this particular kitchen. And then uh, I, I really wish there was a stove that kind of went with that one. It would be a lot better, a lot nicer. Um, but there's not, so I went ahead with this one, which I felt like was the closest color match. And now I'm like, how do I get this kitchen to be functional when, <laughs> when it is so, so small. And I could have made it a little bit bigger, as you'll see in the build later when I have some, it's a tiny home, but I have some empty spaces in it, and you'll see that. So I could have actually extended this kitchen out by one more tile and created a little more room, but there is, um, you know, a counter for prep and... There is a little bit of storage if Sims actually had anything for storage. And now I'm just kind of putting things in spots in the house where I know I want to be able to use them in these rooms, but not necessarily in their final place. And then it occurred to me just now, like just a second, that there's no sink in this kitchen. I forgot to put a sink in this kitchen. So, uh, I, the one thing I want to do is kind of see whether or not sims will prep on that tiny little end counter if they will then i'll go ahead and put a sink in this kitchen and then uh re-upload it if they can't prep on that tiny little end counter then there's no sink in here and you guys feel free to add a dishwasher you guys feel free to expand the kitchen out a tile so that we can get a sink in here um it would make more sense you can also just put a sink like right outside the kitchen in this spot over here that it has nothing in it when you're finally like in game there's like nothing over here as far as i remember so you you could do that too and you could do any sink you wanted to but yeah there's no sink in this kitchen there is one in the bathroom but the thing is too is i have that um, mod installed where, you know, they don't wash dishes in the bathroom. So in this house, they currently can't wash dishes. She won't be able to wash her dishes at all. So a sink will need to be added, but there isn't one right now. So then I'm like, I really like this island living rug. It's really beautiful, but this one's too big for the kitchen. And I totally forget for a second that I can make it smaller. So I put... Um, this swatch in here, the kind of like maroon and gray sort of one, because I wanted it to kind of remind me that I, that's the theme I want to go for that living room. And then let's see. And then I remember finally that you can shrink <laughs> the rugs and various other things. So I shrink it and I put it in the kitchen, this rug in the black and white swatch. I feel like it kind of matches, even though it doesn't like, I feel like it looks really good. And I don't know if the rug being there will make the stove catch on fire or anything, but I just realized I also don't have, there is no thermostat in this house, and there is not a smoke detector. So that's great. Um, uh, if you guys put those in, that'd probably make it easier to play in this house because a smoke detector alerts the fire department that there's a fire and they need to come and, you know, help you out or whatever. Anyway, so then I'm just trying to figure out like storage systems for this kitchen and where this window could go if I had all these ca cabinets here and then I wind up getting rid of one of the cabinets like that one. I just, I'm like, nope, I'm out. It doesn't need to be there. And then like there is room on this wall for a smoke detector, but I completely forget to put it in. 100% forget to. So yeah, and then I remove these cabinets because honestly this other shelf like looks really good here and I don't mind it being the only shelf. I would hate this kitchen if I were living in this house as a, you know, real person, <laughs> an actual person. If this was my house, I would hate it. It's so small, but I actually really love the way it turned out and I really love it for my mermaid sim. Like I really love the idea of it for her, so... Now I'm going to put in these island living wall lights above the doors that door over there 
and the next door there's a dog barking in my neighborhood if you can hear that and uh yeah because i like them there and they're good little wall lights for above doors because i kind of feel like when you have doors you should have a tiny little light above it like houses like get so dark at night it would be nice if like there was a tiny light above like every door so that and, and it was the only one you could turn on that'd be cool so then i go with the wicker couch or at least what looks like wicker to me instead of the other one because it kind of matches it matches that rug and then I paint this wall a different color. At first I'm like, ooh, purple, but then that really doesn't look good. So I go with this kind of like orangey red color. And I really like that. It's a really lovely little living room. I do rearrange the furniture in here though. Like I move it around so it makes more sense for this. And at first I'm thinking, ooh, this round coffee table, but then that's way too big. So then I go with the normal one, like the regular rectangle. Okay, so then let's see where we're going to be at now. Oh, this is me trying desperately hard to figure out a way to put this tiny living TV in here because, again, we're using tiny living, island living, and base game in this build, and those are all the packs we're using for this build. There might be one item that is a different pack. Now that I'm thinking about it, there might be one item. But if there is, I can't remember which pack it is off the top of my head but I'm pretty sure I kept it to island living tiny living and base game pretty sure okay so now I like I put this wall here thinking that it needs to like break up the living room and the living room should be its own space a little more private and everything but the wall makes this hallway look somewhat unlivable so I remove it eventually I'm about to like try and get this TV here and then I just delete it and I'm like no this wall sucks. I even like try and put a window on the wall like the big open one from Island Living because I'm like well that'll open up the space but then it looks stupid and so then I don't do that. <laughs> Alright so right now I wasn't I wasn't gonna like do any more speed build elements for you guys. But I feel like I could stop talking and we could speed this stuff up a little bit. Like, I'm, I'm being perfectly honest when I say that I talked through this whole build process already. And I tried really hard and then it just did not record the audio. It didn't pick up my audio at all and I have no idea why. Um, but now because of that, like, I don't have much else to say. Like, I can't... 100% remember what every piece of furniture and every wall color and all that stuff is now but I totally did when I was building it and I loved it so here's where I'm rearranging the living room putting that stuff out there just to be able to rearrange it and oh you know what I forgot a barbecue on this back deck too and that one would go really well out here and I'm pretty sure I forgot one so you guys could put one out there too if you wanted like there's so many little tiny details I just forgot building this now that I'm re-watching it and I'm like whoa like that's a lot of details to forget but you know it's still a great little 98 tile house and it's a great little house for my one mermaid sim and it even has room for her to have a guest at times not like a stay over night guest but like you know a friend over or something so um I'm gonna go ahead and jump off the audio and kind of speed up the stuff for the rest of the decor not all of it but some of it I'm gonna come back when I've decided to do the um, paintings I go ahead and I download some paintings from the gallery uh, it's not technically custom content because you can just download it from the gallery anyone can that has sims 4 that has access to the gallery because we all do um, unless you don't play with the, you know, online features on, but I'm pretty sure eventually you have to. I'm not really sure how that works. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and jump off the audio and speed up a little bit and let you guys listen to some music while I decorate the rest of the house. And then when I'm going to put paintings up, I'll come back and we'll talk about the who did the paintings. All right. Thanks, guys.
Okay, we're back, and here's where I pulled some paintings from the gallery. I pulled these two paintings, and then I pulled some mermaid paintings, and you're going to see it pop up on the screen here in a moment. Um, I picked photos from Simsational 2. Simsational 2 was T00 at the end, not the number 2. So Simsational 2. At, see right here that's what I'm doing right now and I also pulled photos from I can't remember their username now I'm hoping that the footage will pull their of uh, gallery art up so that we can figure out who did it but it's all mermaid art the second set of um, paintings, images, is all mermaids, and it reminds me of like the Little Mermaid Ariel, various forms, and I don't think it actually is, but I couldn't really tell, but they're really beautiful mermaid paintings, and I use those throughout the house too, and I, off the top of my head, cannot remember their username, but I did use art from the gallery. I used art from Sensational 2 and one other person. And the other person is all the mermaid photos. They're right here. You're seeing them on the screen right now. They're this wall of mermaid photos. And they are beautiful. And I would love to credit the gallery artist. But again, I lost my audio. Um, my audio didn't record. And in my audio, I said what all their names were. And I even spelled them out. I literally spelled them out during the audio that I thought I was recording and it turned out I wasn't. So, um, I'm going to see if I can find who they were and I'll try and mention them in the description box of this video, uh, at, at the time that I'm putting this up. But there is every possibility that I won't have any idea who they are anymore because again, it didn't record my audio and I had their names but it didn't, I can't remember it now. The only footage I have left from pulling up the gallery is the Sensational 2, who is not the person who did the mermaid photos. The mermaid photos is a different, is a different person, I'm pretty sure, because I used two different artists uh, for the images in this build. So again, if I can figure out who they are, I will link them in the description and I apologize about that. I really should keep a notepad document up when I'm doing sim stuff and write down any gallery art I use. And I should also keep you guys appraised or prized, whichever version of that word you want to use, of whatever custom content I have or that I'm using, especially during like my sims let's plays. I should totally keep a list of what custom content I'm using so that I can link you guys to it or at least mention it in my description box. But to be honest, it never really occurs to me to 100% do that because when I'm um, playing the game for you guys, I don't, I try to remove most of my custom content from my game when I'm actually doing Let's Plays. But for builds, I also don't use custom content for the actual builds. I just use the gallery art and I usually I usually record in the audio who I'm getting it from and I usually spell their name out too. Like a previous video I used Katrindi and that's not their full gallery ID tag but it's the only part of it that I remembered after I lost the audio. So again I promise I'm going to work out the audio issues, I'm going to figure them out and so I stop having this problem. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, let's watch the rest of this build, and I hope you enjoy the music that I'm going to put in along with it. Thanks.
Okay guys, so this is the whole build, at the end of it, the last room that we did was the bathroom with the loo, and I'm just putting in some final little details here, towels, little clutter items, tiny ones, not, not much. And you can see the living room over there all put together, and then looking through other bathroom like stuff to put something next to the tub, because this room's actually big and I don't have much there. I choose this little ottoman and that space game. And then that's gonna be the whole build. It is already up on the gallery, so is the mermaid. Travingo Tales is the gallery user ID. Again, if I can find the name of the artist for the other art, the mermaid art, I'll put their name in the description box. And if not, I really do apologize. If anybody watching knows who did that art, please let me know. I will credit them appropriately, I promise. And then here's me just trying to readjust the roof because I didn't like the look of it. I really hate the way the roof looks. I still hate the way the roof looks. But I went back to the way I'd had it um, when I first put it on because it just looked better than anything I tried to do. So there you go. That's the build. That's the whole thing. I think it looks really good. Um, I think it would fit in in Suwani, to be honest. I think it would if you just moved it and put it in. I think it would fit. I love the landscaping. I love the pond. I think it would really work in Suwani pretty well. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. It'll help out my channel, my really tiny channel. And I hope you guys have a good night. Bye.